you can create patterns of items with the Pattern tool. To access the tool, go to Transform and then select Pattern. Or select an item and then choose Pattern from the Adaptive menu. Select the Pattern Type menu and then choose Linear. A linear pattern can be distributed along one, two, or three straight axes. Drag a gizmo arrow in the direction you wish to create the pattern. You can customize the pattern using the pattern control and dimension badges. Set the pattern definition to spacing distance to define the pattern by specifying the distance between each copied instance. Select the dimension label or the arrow to specify the total or spacing value using the numpad. To define a second or third direction for the pattern, drag the other available gizmo arrows. Set the pattern definition to total distance to define the pattern using overall dimensions. Select the quantity badge to enter the number of copies required for the pattern. Copies of the selected items are equally spaced across the dimension specified. To complete the pattern tool, select Done. To create a circular pattern, select Circular from the Pattern Type menu. A circular pattern distributes copies of selected items around a specified center point. Move the gizmo center to where you want the pattern center to be. Use the pattern control badges to customize the pattern. Set the pattern definition to spacing angle to specify the angle between each copied instance. Drag a gizmo arrow in a circular motion to create the pattern. Select Total Angle from the Pattern Definition menu to define a pattern using an overall angle. Select the dimension label or the arrow to specify the total or spacing value using the numpad. Select the Quantity badge to enter the number of copies required for the pattern. Use the Circular Orientation Control badge to define how the pattern instances are rotated. Uniform maintains the original item's orientation for each copy, while Rotated rotates each copy's orientation relative to the gizmo center. To complete the pattern tool, select Done. To view or refine history parameters for the pattern tool, find the specific step for your pattern action and open the expandable card. From there, you can update the parameters for target bodies, target faces, center point, definition, orientation, quantity, and angle. To choose a different body to pattern, click or tap the Edit or Select button beside target bodies. Select a different body and then select Done to finish. To choose a different face to pattern, click or tap the Edit or Select button beside target faces. Select a different face and then select Done to finish. To choose a different center point for your pattern, click or tap the Edit or Select button beside center point. Drag the center point to another position and then select Done to finish. Next, you can update the pattern definition by selecting the dropdown beside Definition. To update how the pattern instances are rotated, Select the dropdown beside Orientation. You can also enter a value for your pattern quantity and angle beside the quantity and angle fields. 